was a huge uh, example, man. Okay, the Most High was so wroth. He was so, he was so disgusted, man, at the disobedience. He was ready to destroy. He was ready to destroy all the congregation of Israel that was in the wilderness at that time, and ready to make another seed come out of the loins of Moses and restart. If I can make a point, that like the scriptures say earlier in that chapter, that Moses isn't wasn't greater or isn't greater than Yahweh Shai. So so think think about that. You you two thirds today who are against Yahweh Shai, y'all are worse than, than than those than those Israelites back in that day. Well, it's and, and really really they're the same. They're the same. They're the mm -hmm. same Jays. It says how it says how the Pharisees were. Uh, uh, it shows you, and when you read the the, uh, the gospel, man, it shows how the Pharisees were hypocrites because they kept bringing up the law of Moses, the law of Moses. Well, who gave Moses the law? The Most High and His Son, who fulfilled the law, who was perfect in the law, who never went off in that in that specific lifetime, Yahweh shot. So it goes to show that the two thirds, they 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 they're pretty much fluffers, man. They they BS, you know. They honor the Most High with their lips, but their heart is far from Him. You see, and that's why the scriptures say, uh, uh, "Harden not your hearts." You see, but circumcise your hearts, because the nation of Israel will circumcise themselves physically, but forget what the circumcision even represents. The circumcision represents being in the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, having faith in Yahweh Shem Yahushai, man. Circumcising your heart, Good. trimming off all of that doubt, okay, all of that wickedness that you, all that content that this flesh comes with, man, you cast that off, you put that off, Good. okay. I mean, uh, uh, I mean, because uh, circumcision means you're basically just trimming the fat, exactly. You know, and whenever you trim that fat, you know, it, 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 it the meat that that much better, all right, so. Yeah, I mean, hey. All right, this is back in Hebrews chapter. We'll uh, we'll, uh, we'll finish up uh, Hebrews three. This is back in Hebrews chapter three and sixteen. It says, "For some, when they had heard, did provoke. Howbeit, not all that came out of Egypt by Moses. But with whom was he grieved?" 40 years this is asking a question who was the most high grieved with for 40 years was it not with them that had sinned whose carcasses fell in the wilderness it was with those who had it was the answer is yes it was with those who had sinned whose carcasses fell in the wilderness due to their disobedience okay due to their provocation due to their lack of faith, okay? These are the unheeding Israelites that the Most High dis disdains, okay? Right. Verse 18, it says, And to whom swear he that they should not enter into his rest, but to them that believe not? None other, none other than to them that believe not. Those Israelites that did not believe that the Most High was able to deliver them after he technically delivered them out of the hands of the of the Egyptians, the only thing that was left to do was uh, 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 set up the uh, uh, well, really wipe out the, uh, the those nations that were in the land of uh, Canaan at that time, okay, and give it to the Israelites. But they had already seen a vast majority of miracles be done by the Heavenly Father to where they didn't have to do anything but listen to what he was doing. That's why the Most High wiped them out, man. That's that goes to show you how much he's displeased with unfaithfulness, man. Right. Verse 19, it says, "So we see that they could not enter in because of unbelief." So that's the answer to the question. Faith. According to history, if you do not believe in how about Shem Yahshai, you will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Right. Okay. That's all I. That's all I had. In Anybody got anything else?
So with that, all praise is to Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to our apostles and elders who teach and rule well. And, uh, salutations to Ulet 144, Israel. Shalom. Shalom.